So for our next trick, we're going to talk about the category of industrial manufacturing. Specifically, this one is a valve example. And I believe this one was also with an arm. It's funny how I tend to pick ones that are the same uh, type of device. So I don't even have an arm picture on this. I don't know why I didn't swap the slide. Um, but I believe this one was using an arm. Now, this one on the surface looks very simple. I totally admit that. You look at it and you're like, wait a minute. What's going on here? Like, this is a basic valve. Why are we doing this in the RE lab? This is the highlights. This is the, the best of the best. You know, so many different cool applications. Well, this one is just... It's novel. Sometimes when I'm bringing something up, it's to teach something that I've seen before that's interesting or novel, or that is like just a great tip or a trick for people to know, right? So on the left side, you see that we have the valve here, and we scanned the part. The way this tends to work, I see most often, I don't have all the screenshots here, is we scan the part completely from the outside as good as you possibly can and then parts with these internal aspects if you have a sacrificial part that's what we had here where they actually had a sacrificial part so they then cut down the middle as you can see that's not a cutaway from our software which we can do that as well but in this instance we are cutting down the middle of the object and then scanning the outside and the inside together. And then what we did here in the middle, and I'll show this more in depth when we get in, is I went ahead, because this is my project that I did for somebody, is, you know, I just thought it would be fun. You don't have to do all this. I could have just reverse engineered it right off of here, honestly. But with this type of application, this just shows what's possible here. I separated the external from the internal, and I made the internal parts separate pieces. So I went ahead and took these pieces, made them their own objects, and pieced them together, and reverse engineered the outside, inside, inside as uh, separate uh, components in one part. So with that, we'll go ahead and jump over to Design X and show how I did that. So here we are inside of DesignX. And we'll go ahead and I have this last little section suppressed just to show the internal and then turn on uh, polygons. Let's turn on this one. So turning off the CAD just to show those side by side there. So this is the half. Um, so again, let's turn off the CAD. Suppress this. And just go over the components. So I have this piece, this piece. So the external pieces of the sacrificial part. Then I went ahead and used our polygon tools to make just an external. So for, for those of you that um, were, would wonder how to do something along those lines, under the polygon tools, we have lots of things that we sometimes just sit and overlook here. Um, but you see I have split, trim, all of these different things. There's a bunch of different ways you can go about doing this. But you could say you want to trim with a curve, uh, a path. You can split um, by using an entity, right? So an entity would be like if I turned on the, this plane here and I said I wanted to do it by based on that entity. But you see right now it doesn't... Um, it doesn't intersect it at the moment. So I would just offset that guy over and go there. I can draw a polyline on screen. This is really neat too. So if I were just to look at this from the top 
and I just draw on screen and then I hit next and then whatever's highlighted I keep so I can split that and I had it cap I should have just undid that but anyway but I could turn it off the capping because it filled the hole of the side. I want to leave that open and then trim the other side. I mean, you can do it manually. There's so many different ways you can go about. Like I can, I can come all over here and click and drag and then extend my selection. I can just hit delete there. I can extend my selection. Um, there's just so many different possible ways of doing it. I'm just uh, just trying to highlight a few of those as we're sitting here. Um, but the idea is then disconnect these internal components from the external by selecting this flat face or trimming or splitting. or And then you can use edit boundaries and things like that to then take both of these pieces and you would just then copy and paste them into the same object or just you can come over and say i want to merge those or, or just combine them together um, and then do hole filling and hole fill between the the gap on all of this hole fill hole fill hole fill all the way around and that's exactly what we did here so then you end up with the external shape then I saved the inside pieces and I did the same thing where I took both sides and pieced them together and look you actually the hole filling in here is so good you can't even tell that we hole filled them back together so both sides here took both sides and did hole fill to create that so now that I have this, and then I kept the cartridge just kind of as a separate, because the cartridge is really just a revolve of this. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, so I kept that as a separate piece there. So now we'll go ahead and roll back here. Roll forward. So we started out. We'll turn the solids on creating this and mirroring it, mirroring it across. Do all the easy stuff, rough it in, right? And I'll turn the mesh on so you can see. Let's turn on outside. So you can see we're, we created both flanges, top, bottom there. Creating this. And that could be mirrored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went ahead and mirrored it. I, I was going to say, there was one example of a model where it was different on the opposite side. So that's why I, I thought this one was that one. Um, and then our revolve. So if we just come into the revolve real quickly here. And turn all that stuff off. You see here, we drew that. Around. And this is a casting, so it has a lot of error to it. And we drew mainly the outside of it in this instance. So you see that, what we got so far. And then... Boolean it all together. And let's see where we're at here. Oh yeah, we still got more. Uh, cutting the holes. Holes. Cut those away. Oh yeah, the, the landing for this guy to cut the for clearance for the bolts. There we go. So you see there is a big flat area here. 
cut that away from this before you go ahead and boolean it all in right so um, and oh yeah applying a fillet to that before to the tool before you go ahead and cut it and boolean it so you see that because there was a little ledge there every little detail right so Let's see where we're at now. All right, so now we've moved on to the internal. So we'll go ahead and hide the external, hide the external. And you see here that we went ahead and we're on the big, I believe. Yeah. So turn the solids off. So this was all one revolve, which was formed by this right here. That right there. And then you see um, after that, go ahead and cut this away. So now we are at this stage. Fill it that. And then this has those different ears on the side right there and then I fill it for those two looks good to me and then boolean so now take a look here we'll hide the mesh and we've boolean that away so far from the main piece now piece number three which is the other internal piece so we'll hide that and we'll go forward here. So this one was slightly different actually. So if you come over here, you see that we cut that down, that shape. And this is what you discover when you, when you, we'll go ahead and get out of that sketch and roll back to this one too. So we went ahead and drew that outer shape and revolved it and had extra cutaway from it. So we'll go ahead and turn on the, uh, there we go. And you see how this one has a flat on the side instead of those small ears, right? So a little bit different forward and then we'll go ahead and turn that back on and then actually there was a little extra cut that away as well and then fill it dress up work to all of that even around there as well And then, so we went ahead and booleaned it from the main piece. So we'll go ahead and turn this off. So now we have both sides and then now the valve, which we basically revolve there. Revolve cut. So basically this right here. And sometimes when you're in a sketch, you're you're looking at it, you're kind of confused. So it is helpful to kind of turn on and off the valve, or it's the cartridge here, to kind of see what you wanted to keep and what you didn't. You're like, so oh, this was part of that, which I could have deleted this from the scan just to make it a more simple. Same thing, I could have deleted all of this stuff right here but it was on not necessary to be able to do. And then Boolean the cartridge away from it. So there we have this, and then you can save it out 
send it to CAD wherever you want to go from there. That last little cut, I just made a cutaway for it. So that is this valve model. And I hope this was valuable because really the point is just kind of showing a novel workflow. This is just something a little off the beaten path. Um, plus, we've done a lot of surface ones, a lot of surface trimming. So uh, let's, let's do some more creative feature-based ones and dissect how those are done. Even though on the surface, lots of parts look simple when you first look at them and then you start reverse engineering them and you discover that's a little more complicated than I thought it was. And um, that's how some of these parts are that I'll bring up in the, in the coming weeks as well.